electrician's ladder like that? You want to get call? way up there? Yeah. Yeah, you talk about way up there, and price is way up there. Hmm. Crazy. It's like $400. Hank and Mandeville, hi, you're on WWL. Good morning. Good morning, Tommy. How you doing? I'm all right. You? Hey, about the wall. Yeah. About 40 years ago, I was looking to a crazy politician said, if we don't build the wall now, 30 years ago, we're going to have trouble. Mm -hmm. We keep, we keep uh, pushing things back. I think it's time to build the wall. I mean, uh, um, I'll tell you one thing, they got technology. Other than that, they have technology. Yeah, coming to America. They're going to find ways, they're going to try to find ways to get over the wall onto the wall. That's why you have people who go man the wall with more, uh, more bodies. Do you think that's the best way to prevent people from coming over by building a wall? And you think it'll work? Because when you said 30 years ago, well, there's that's the right. technology that exists now that didn't exist then. The best way is the way they do it in Europe and other yeah. South American countries. If you come across the wall, they shoot you. Uh, yeah. But we're not going to do that. Uh, that really uh, deters people from coming over to kill the first two or three hundred. Okay. I mean, let's, let's get the message. Yeah. Uh, Mexico does it on their southern border. Um, but, uh, you know, we can't do that. Um, so I, I think the wall is a good idea. I mean, you know, we got to start somewhere, and that, that could be a, a good start. We think about the ladder. And uh, uh, city the ladder. Uh, some people go overboard the ladder. I mean, you go home that spot and you have to go on or whatever, you gotta move around, you gotta walk through the crowd. I, my, my son's in, in his 30s right now. I remember when he was a kid walking in, uh, trying to find some people on the beach around uh, in Denver Parade. And uh, it's crowded as heck, and you know, you're not looking, you're trying to see where you're going, you're carrying, you know, something or whatever. I'm walking to the bus, people walk you 10 feet from the parade. Really? I mean, they should be laws about that. Well, there are. I think. Well, well, I don't force them because my son walked right to the ball. No, 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 I understand that. I'm not, I'm not doubting your story. I'm just saying it happens and it seems like they got these laws. Well, one thing it seems to me, Hank, and let me get your take on this real quick. It seems like the ladder thing has gotten out of hand because now it is nothing but a wall of ladders along St. Charles Avenue and you can't, you can't see anything if you're not on the ladder. And the thing that drives me crazy about that is you would think if you were on a ladder and up high, you would be in the back, right? Like stadium seating? Exactly. This is what I don't like. A lot of those, uh, it puts in use when you, know, you hit small children back. You go to the beginning parade, and that's all you see is big people's butts on ladders, six feet from the parade. And by then you mean grown people. Grown people. They oh, I get it. They put two children in the ladder, but I guarantee you, 70% of the people on ladders are adults. Yeah. Um, and I think it's out of control. Um, if, uh, yeah, if, if some guys, I think the ladder should be at least 40 feet from the parade route, not six. And like you, like you came up with a great idea. If you want to barbecue and have parties and invite 150 of your friends in one area, and you think you own that area by roofing it off, you should pay for an area. Maybe they should start selling plots of land between certain areas, and the city can uh, make some money on that. You had a great idea. Well, I have a lot of great ideas. Right, we well, agree. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you called. Thank you. 260 1870 Tommy Tucker back in a flash talking about border wall and what about a wall of ladders? Has that gotten out of hand when it comes to Mardi Gras? I think it has, but you tell me when we come back. Tommy Tucker, WWL. A good day getting started. Tommy Tucker on WWL, the news, talk, and sports leader. Do one thing to protect the environment. It all starts with just one thing. 95% of the water entering our homes goes down the drain. But saving water can be simple. Turn off the faucet when brushing your teeth. Use your dishwasher or clothes washer only when there's a full load. Or fix a leaky faucet and save up to 2,700 gallons of water a year. It all starts with just one thing. Find tips and more at OneThingUS.com. What's your one thing? Well, I'll tell you one thing that'll destroy your time at a parade is if you're wondering what's going on back at your house with your possessions or maybe the pets or especially if you got family that didn't go to the parade. And that brings me to Smart Automation from ATS, your authorized Honeywell dealer. Today's lifestyle, not just about Mardi Gras parades, but about going out and having you, you yourself a good time and not worrying about what's going on at home. And that's what video verification is all about. And the benefits there are including better security as well as false alarm reduction. Smart automation, video verification, it's the most uh, verification, most popular option on alarm systems. Video seen by the operator at APS, that's associated with the actual alarm event. With smart automation from APS, 
You'll have your home or business all at your fingertips with the new lifestyle. Consumers looking to purchase security want the best lifestyle they can get with the fastest police response. Well, now you can have that with smart automation from APF. If you want to learn more about smart, smart rather, always do this, smart automation for your home or business, call APS today at 504-455-APS. 504-455-5APS or visit them online at securitybyaps.com, your authorized Honeywell dealer. There's always something to celebrate on Mississippi's West Coast, Hancock County, like the first Friday of each month at the Lazy Magnolia Brewery in Kill, Mississippi's oldest brewery. It's more than just beer at Lazy Magnolia. There are brewery tours, food and music, and a new pint class design is unveiled the first Friday of each month. Lazy Magnolia also donates $1 to a local charity for each guest that joins in the first Friday tour and tasting. It's beer, food, and music in one of America's great microbreweries. And what goes better with beer than a parade? Join in the fun as the secret all-female crew of Near East hits the streets of Bay St. Louis at noon, Sunday, February 4th. The parade begins at the intersection of Drinkwater and Highway 90 with great floats, bands, and dance teams. To check out a list of all the festivals, events, and activities in Hancock County, visit mswestcoast.org. mswestcoast.org is a proud partner of Visit Mississippi Gulf Coast. The more I get to know the fine folks at Florida Parishes Bank, the more I'm impressed with their commitment to our local businesses and families. When your business needs funding for growth and expansion, or if you're looking to build, buy, or renovate, call FPB. Conveniently located at 1041 Veterans Boulevard in Metairie, we're on the North Shore. FPB has a 95-year banking tradition of unbeatable customer service. Stop by or contact them today. BankFPB.com, Florida Parishes Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. WWL First News with Tommy Tucker on WWL, the news talk and sports leader.